Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. In today's video, I just felt like jumping into a few more games and basically just talking about my kind of experience and opinion of the new rank mode that they tested over the weekend. It has now officially gone offline, whilst they, I guess, take back everyone's feedback. I believe they're also going to be sending around a survey soon, so if you are interested in having your opinion heard, then I would definitely recommend you going either on the Reddit or just keeping an eye on your emails i'm sure you'll get that survey there soon if you did play obviously the ranked mode beta test weekend and i definitely recommend doing that survey you might say like oh well, they'll never listen like the arena team has, has proven like again and again they do listen to the community on most stuff you know obviously stuff takes a while to do and uh, it might not all be easy to get like your feedback into the game right away if, if there is a general consensus about something, they do generally change it and, you know, listen to the community, which is, I think, is a great one of, definitely one of the strengths of the arena team and development. It just takes a while to have, make that change happen, which is, you know, maybe frustrating to some people. But anyway, you know, we'll just jump in. I've got a tier 8 Hannibal uh, game going on, and I feel like buying a little skin for him. Um, but I think the Nemesis one's probably the coolest one out of the two. This, as someone rightfully pointed out, makes him look a bit like a grandma. I, I can definitely see it right with the, the hair and the, the color kind of looks like a grandma a, a butch grandma who you wouldn't want to mess around with like she would beat your ass but like i don't know i feel like nemesis is just a bit cooler i do really like the shield as well and i'll say this again i wish this changed the aesthetic of the, the general's bodyguard like say just for example hannibal goes into this unit i really really hope wish that like this color would just transfer onto this unit um, it would be really cool. I understand that you'd have to then transfer that color over to so many different combinations of units. However, I feel like it's just, you know, this isn't enough for how much gold they're charging on the commander skins. There's just not enough substance there to really make it in, in, uh, impactful. And we have changed a few things. They've made like the end screen and, you know, added in more pictures and stuff to kind of make these champion skins a little bit more interesting. But... Again, like, I feel like you just never zoom in and look at your individual commander. And if you do, it's very random if, like, if you do go about it. So I just prefer more of an aesthetic change you can see from, like, a bird's eye view. I mean, anyway, that's just my opinion. So, yeah, we're jumping into a tier 8 game. I don't know if we'll find anything super quick, as we are playing pretty early on in the morning. Um, but hopefully we will. I, I don't care if we get into a tier 8 game. As I say many a time, like, these tier 8 uh, barbarian swords can take on tier 10s and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They might not, like, kill them all, but they'll they'll do their job and, and get some pretty nice damage in. So, anyway, sorry, long intro, but anyway, ranked mode. First off, let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments. And obviously, if you enjoy this video and want to see more Arena, drop that like, drop that comment. I've kind of come back doing loads of these videos because of the ranked mode. And I might take you know, a little break until ranked mode does come back. But if you want to see more um, Arena videos, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, my overall opinion on ranked mode, that it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a really, really interesting design. That I think it's the right design they went for of that rank system going up. Um, I think it's pretty cool rather than having like a, a like a League of Legends like division system. I just don't think the community is big enough for something like like that to be really really effective. Um, so I think the way they went with it more of like that Hearthstone kind of gaining eagles to level up through a progressive system is really cool. Um, one of the things I think I immediately uh, really looked into was the fact that the, like towards the upper side of the uh, of the levels, so like a, like the starting levels from like level 16 to level 10. There were kind of quite a few of these indestructible eagles where you'd get hit a certain point and then wouldn't lose any more eagles. I wouldn't mind that being a bit more spread out at the beginning, but I totally understand why it is like it is. It's to give players, you know, sense of progression, um, especially if you're relying on other players, it might get a little bit crappy. Um, so, you know, I totally understand why that is there. And I, I think it's good as well at the top rank. From rank 6 to rank 1, there's no save points whatsoever. So you will win and lose eagles throughout that entire time, which I think is uh, pretty decent, and I, I'm definitely quite a big fan of, of that. Uh, so where do we want to go? Probably on the left flank or hide in the woods a bit and see if we can ambush anyone. 
So yeah, I was a big fan of that, um, and especially as well, it, it took five eagles to go up through the ranks at rank six to rank one. So it's not going to be an easy task to just get there. You're going to have to consistently be winning. I would love to see more statistics brought into it as well, like having like your own ranked kind of game mode where people can click on your profile and see, oh, this person's been playing ranked and they're this rank. And, um, you know, they, they may mainly play this champion. So I'd love a separate, like, stat screen for that. And I'm sure that's something that they will look to do in the future, um, for sure. Uh, as well as that, I would I would love to see, again, I didn't hit rank 1 because I was busy all over the weekend. But I would love to see kind of like a leaderboard at ranked 1. Kind of like, again, they have in Hearthstone where you hit legend um, and then you have to battle out between the rest of the legends to see who can rank, you know, rank 1. I really feel like having that prestigious, you know, rank 1 of the rank 1s is really good. And these archers are so screwed. We should probably force March over there. Um, and try and get our asses here. I'm coming, my dude. Oh, my God. You are lucky that I'm a fast boy. Very lucky. We also we have more archers there as well. Some testudos. Oh, my God. I really want to be careful with them archers because we're also in force march. Oh, nice, though. Our cavalry's going to come flying in there. Perfect. So, this is actually a Germanicus. Um, I'm going to try and engage this, I think, and bring up this unit as well. I'm going to try and make him pop his vengeance. First off, I'm going to try and make him charge. Try and dodge out of that charge, which I did pretty nicely, actually. Oh, I clumped him up completely. Um, get out of force. Mark. How did this unit route? And we're going to engage him. Obviously, try and let him pop his... Uh... That's going to be painful. Oh, that's going to be painful. Has he popped his vengeance yet? No, he hasn't. Try and just protect these archers still. This unit routed. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, he's popped vengeance. Let's just get out of there. Obviously, no need to be in there still. We're going to fall back. Has he popped vengeance on everyone? He has indeed. So let's just try and fall back. Try and get this vengeance. This archer player needs to retreat as well. Um, okay, we're back. We're back. Good, good, good. We can go ahead and pop everything. He's probably going to charge me. Yeah, he's going to charge me. This is going to be painful. Oh, it's really painful. You guys get back here. And we need to try and protect these missiles as best as we can, honestly. Try and slow these guys up. Basically, just filter in here. Uh, we, can, we have a charge as well, which we're going to try and obviously just charge in and stop this cavalry from coming in. Hopefully, we can now slam it. And I'm going to pop my at portus there as well. We got a charge back there as well soon. We're gonna slaughter this. Uh, yeah, you guys definitely go in there. Again, we're getting hit, but it's fine. Uh, you guys can come in there with your at portals as well. Like, we're doing some good damage to these Romans. Like considering how much we've taken out, these archers just need to kill the cavalry. I mean, we're slaughtering these guys right now. Like, yeah, look how much damage we're doing there. Like, we, we've held up a large portion of enemies on this side, so hopefully the rest of the team is doing okay. We need to make sure we slam as much as possible with this unit, because there's just so many of them left remaining. You guys all slam. We've got Determination back, which just gives us good buffs. Um, okay, we need to go help out the, the archers now if we can. Maybe could have done that a little bit sooner, but it's fine. We can come in and basically just free up these archers. Um, we're probably going to lose this unit right here, but again, it's kind of okay. Can we charge away? Because he's probably going to heavy infantry charge. Just get out of there. We slam them. We slam them. So the archers should just volley. Shoot them in the back now, boys. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Not going to rout them, but it's going to kill most of them. I haven't got our portals left, but obviously he won't have vengeance back for a while. I think I'm just going to save my men for now. Probably. Moving this to go ahead and stop his testudo. Just keep this unit along with the archers as best as I can. We actually got our portals back as well. But that's like the amazing thing about Hannibal. Is his power just to like slaughter the enemy. It's not, you shouldn't shoot me. Like this is not worth it, I don't think. At all, like I've killed them. My pause has to charge. It's, he's just killing my men now. Hey, what are you going to do? It's only tier 7. Yeah, I mean, we took him down, so what are you going to do? Okay, cool. Let's, I'm going to send this unit kind of back to base now, and then the rest of this unit we're going to push in. Looks like the enemy cavalry that was trying to duel us is over here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you did shoot me pretty badly, dude, but I forgive you. At least you know that was a dumb mistake, and hopefully... It wasn't really dumb, you know, it's whatever. I had hardly any units left, but we, I could have had that by myself. But it's cool. Uh, where are we going, then? I guess I'll just stick with the archers and do my best and talk a bit more about ranked mode. Now we've got through the exciting part of the battle. Not bad as well, 1700. Considering we were up against the Germanicus, you know, like... I'm happy with how well these guys performed. Maybe if we 
Like, the thing is as well, the reason we took as many casualties as we did during that battle was because of the, um, because of the cavalry they had. I had to protect my archers, so it meant I couldn't commit as much infantry to that fight as I would like to. Uh, these archers as well should ruin these javelins. We don't want to overcommit though. I don't want to kind of just get too close and lose a large portion of my force here. So we're just going to avoid them. We could try and chase them, which again wouldn't be a bad idea. Do they have any cavalry left? They have one horse left, which is up there. Okay, good to know. I'm just going to probably stick around here. For now, you know a lot of slingers as well. Where's that horse gone as well? I mean, that horse probably won't do any damage, so it's fine. They're going to fortify. I guess we'll just stick around the archers some more. Um, so yeah, ranked mode. Um, as I was saying, like I like a lot of the features of it. It has some really cool potential. I really like the rank system. I thought that was a nice way to go about it, considering the arena community isn't as big as maybe yeah, it could be. Also, apologies. I had two soundtracks playing in the background. That must have been really, really jarring. I do apologize. I thought I turned off one of the music off. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, oh, yeah. I apologize for that. Uh, but, yeah. So, like, I really enjoyed the way that the rank system worked. I think, overall, matchmaking was a bit of a mess. But, you know, I'm not really expecting it to be anything crazy. They're still working out what team comps need and stuff. I really honestly feel like a pick system where you pick your, uh, your commanders and you pick your general. Maybe even picking a role could be really, really useful in uh, in arena and rank you you know deciding what you're bringing to the battlefield um you know whether it's infantry archers whatever you know being able to to say that before the battle starts and then having the matchmaking kind of take that into account could be really really useful um i feel like a lot of the time as well the 5v5 just wasn't enough players for total war arena arena has you know pretty diverse compositions of what you can bring to the battle you know um and i think the ability uh, with five people just isn't enough. I think like you need more than five people to to make proper army comps work um, And also to make make it so you're not just bringing the same five things every single time I feel like with five slots you're gonna end up just bringing you know two units of infantry archers uh, a, a Javelin player and then something else of your choice whether it's another missile or you wear it slingers or maybe it's you know another cavalry or, or something like that I feel like you're just going to end up bringing the exact same thing every single time. Whereas with maybe six or seven players, I feel like seven would be ideal. But I, I could definitely see six players working as well. Even with six players, I think it would be half decent. Um, just adding in the extra person to really kind of help, you know, fill out the roster. Because a lot of the time, you know, we'd be given like one unit of infantry, elephants, two missiles and a cav. Like... What's that one infantry supposed to do to engage against, you know, to protect all of their missiles? It just, it just came into a lot of bad situations. And I feel like that's just a case of having a 5v5 going. I feel like you're always going to run into that issue where you are just having, uh, you know, just not enough players. So I think making it into a 5v5 would be great, not only for matchmaking, but for army comps. I mean, 6v6, sorry. Um, and then, you know, maybe the next, hopefully in the next beta we can make and test 6v6. I like the party sizes though. I liked only having two party sizes. I thought that was kind of pretty neat actually in ranked mode. I would like to see it be reverted in uh, part and normal mode. Like I feel like you should be able to play a full team in normal mode if you wanted to. Um, but I definitely see in ranked mode that like, you know, having only two people in, in one team, I think that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, and then having the rest either, you know, partied up as well or randoms. Uh, I guess a, a great way. And I feel like, Party-wise, the matchmaking did a good job of building, um, of building, you know, balanced parties. It was just the, the unit composition, and as I said, I feel like that was a huge kind of problem. To uh, it was more of a problem of the, the just not enough players to field a proper comp than the matchmaking itself. Because um, a lot of the times, like we'd get elephants, and elephants are just basically pointless in a five v five. I feel because the enemy team's gonna have either javelins, pikes. Or they're going to have archers. 
And like the elephants take away support for your missiles, they take away missile units from your, your composition. It's just kind of a, a dead slot, and yeah, if you get into infantry, they're going to do really good. But even then, like, vengeance kind of kills them pretty quickly, archers can kite them all day long. Like, there's just so many counters to elephants that I feel like bringing them in a 5v5 is pointless. Now, bringing them in a, a 6v6 or a 7v7, maybe, definitely a 7v7, I could see arguments for that. Even a 6v6... There's probably better stuff you could bring, because um, the enemy's just always going to have pikes or archers. Like, even archers do good against elephants, um, if they can just kite them all day long. Um, so, like, I just feel like there's just so many better units to bring that, like, some units fall out of the wayside. And I feel like Arena does a good job at kind of balancing out the, the units. Like, I feel like in a 10v10, elephants can be great, they just have to pick their targets. But there's just not good enough targets to pick in a, in a lower kind of 5v5 game so overall i think um rank mode was great uh the party system was awesome only having two people in a party made it with solo players didn't feel overwhelmed and you could still play with a friend to grind up the tiers i thought the overall kind of leveling system was good uh, maybe a little bit less kind of safety towards the beginning but i understand you i mean you already get five levels of safety i feel like maybe you could then skip ahead a little bit maybe just one or two extra ones um where you can lose eagles, again, just to make that, you know, harder to grind up through the tiers and your rank actually feel a bit more important. I would love to see more statistics given on, like, the stat screen uh, for ranked mode. Uh, you know, just up here, you're having, like, a more detailed thing showing you... Um, oh, hit rank 9 of Hannibal, awesome. Uh, yeah, just, like, a more detailed thing up here showing you, you know, kind of, like, oh, this is what you did and this is, you know, your stats with ranked mode and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool. I'd love to see him. Hopefully, there'll be another beta week weekend and they test a 6v6 or a 7v7 i think that'd be really really awesome and a nice change to the overall um kind of style and i think it would help out matchmaking a ton and um, that's pretty much it for my thoughts i thought like yeah it was just a lot of fun to play and have something to actually work towards and level up um and it wasn't too frustrating either like i lost a bunch of games because people did bad stuff but it didn't really bother me too much because I could just jump in. The matches were quick. They were like 5-10 minutes. And I think that's where Arena really does shine. The map choice was good as well, I think, as well. It did feel a bit repetitive after like my 30th game or something. But the map choice was still fun nonetheless. Uh, maybe adding in like other objectives into ranked map modes would be kind of cool. Rather than just capture a base. Maybe there could be like shrines added on to the battlefield. Like Shogun 2. I know this is like something that never would happen. Because uh, I imagine it, it would take a lot of... Uh, extra money and people and resources to do but i would love to see the shrines added in like you know give bonuses again just kind of making it so that each battle doesn't play the same sometimes you can rush the enemy base sometimes you can rush mid uh, but other times you want to go for the shrines and power up like i feel like stuff like that could just add a lot of flavor to ranked mode at least so there we have it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to drop a like and a comment down below let me know what you thought of ranked mode and i'll see you guys in the next one